<laughs> After nearly a year, some area troops were back in their family's arms today. It was tough to have her be gone. Um, and all that doesn't even matter anymore because she's here. So that's all that matters. <laughs> Members of the 395th Ordnance Company returned home, and they also received some support from community members who turned out for a parade. They've been gone a long time, and thank God they're here. Certainly a hero's welcome taking place in Appleton. Yeah, family and friends reuniting with their soldiers this afternoon. The 395th soldiers had been in Afghanistan since about this time last year. Fox 11's Laura Smith was at the unit's armory for the emotional homecoming. As the temperature rose, so did anticipation among the many families awaiting their loved ones. Taking forever. <laughs> Not fast enough, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a pretty poster. Like so many others, the Manecki family was ready with signs and flags. Very excited to have them home. <laughs> then finally, after a year of waiting, <laughs> the arrival of about 100 members of the 395th. Several trolleys rolled in, packed with soldiers waving at the cheering crowd. <laughs> People crowded in tight as the troops went into formation and were released. 395th Artist Company, you are dismissed! And then the emotional reunions began. <laughs> Hugs, kisses, Yo, look at Grandpa. photographs. A moment in time no one here will forget. Words can't even express how it felt to see them pull in. Tanya Minecki's husband, Sergeant Justin Minecki, says it means everything to him to be with his family again. Without family, we really wouldn't be able to do what we do to uh, go away for a year without the support that they give us. So um, that's what keeps us going, knowing that we got them at home. Specialist Sadie Sikosh was deployed with her husband, Sergeant Peter Sikosh. They had to leave their four year old Amelia behind. Definitely different, but I missed her so much, so yeah. Mwah. The couple kept in touch with their daughter using Skype. Worked out, we get to see her smiley face, you know, every week. So other families are also celebrating the homecoming of their loved ones, like these two sisters. Um, it was tough to have her be gone, um, and all that doesn't even matter anymore because she's here. So that's all that matters. <laughs> Jen Fazer's sister, specialist Michelle Frost, says it feels great to be back. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It is the best feeling ever to come home. Home to family and friends who are eager to share time with the ones they've missed for so long. In Appleton, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News. One member of the unit, Staff Sergeant Garrick Eppinger Jr., died during the deployment of the 395th. The Army says Eppinger died from a self inflicted gunshot wound, but the family has said it does not agree with the military's findings.